Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to this Outbreak Newscast. And today I'm going to take a look at um, the situation of eastern equine encephalitis in the state of Florida. And the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services reported this past week an additional case of eastern equine encephalitis, or triple E, in a horse in Holmes County in Florida's panhandle. Now, according to officials, the animal was an unvaccinated four-year-old Gypsy Vanner stallion from a private facility in the county who presented with the symptoms of apprehension, depression, elevated temperature, incoordination, weakness in the hind limbs, and an inability to stand this past June 19th. The stallion, unfortunately, had to be euthanized. Now, this is the second triple E case reported in Holmes County and the 14th case reported in the state of Florida in the first six months of 2024. Other than Holmes County, we've seen two cases in Marion County, two in Osceola, and one each in Alachua, Columbia, Duval, Highlands, Jackson, Levy, Polk, and Suwannee counties. Now, today in Florida, positive samples have also been reported from 31 sentinel chickens, two emus, and one emu flock from 20 different counties. Now, eastern equine encephalitis is a viral disease that causes inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. It is transmitted by mosquitoes. Now, in North America, the eastern equine encephalitis virus is normally maintained in wild bird populations. Culicetta melanura, a mosquito that preferentially feeds on birds, is the most important vector in this sylvatic cycle, which is the portion of the pathogen's natural transmission cycle that involves wild animals and insects. Now, other mosquito species that feed on both birds and mammals, or bridge vectors, may transmit eastern equine encephalitis virus to humans and domesticated mammals. Now, it causes disease in equides, that is, horses, mules, burros, donkeys, and zebras, and humans in North America. Triple E has been detected in eastern Canada, all U.S. states east of the Mississippi, and some additional states such as Arkansas, Minnesota, South Dakota, and Texas. A number of other animals such as pigs, llamas, bats, reptiles, amphibians, and rodents can also be infected. Birds are reservoirs for the virus, often being infected without signs of disease. Now some birds, for example, pheasants, emus, ostrich, whooping cranes, and partridges can have illness or death once infected with the virus or other equine encephalitis viruses, such as Western equine encephalitis and Venezuelan equine encephalitis. Now, the clinical signs and symptoms of triple E include the following, depression and anorexia, initially without a fever when in initially infected, uh, moderate to high fever, lack of appetite, lethargy, drowsiness, and a bunch of neurological signs. The onset of neurological disease is frequently sudden and progressive, and you may see periods of hyper-excitability, apprehension, and or drowsiness, fine tremors of the face and neck muscles, convulsions, cranial nerve paralysis, facial paralysis, and weakness of the tongue are very common, head tilt, droopy lip, muzzle deviation, weakness, ataxia and incoordination, complete paralysis of one or more limbs, colic, recumbency, and of course, death. And triple E is a life-threatening disease in equides with a case fatality rate as high as 90% in horses with encephalitis. And many of the surviving animals have severe residual neurological signs. Diagnosis is made by a veterinarian by measuring titers and serum a component of the whole blood, using ELISA or enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, 
or less commonly with PCR or CSF, cerebral spinal fluid. Now, there is no cure for eastern equine encephalitis. Supportive care is administered in horses which show clinical signs. Vaccination for Tripoli is highly effective and is recommended as core vaccination. Now, in humans, Tripoli is rare, with only a few cases reported in the U.S. each year. Most of the cases occur in the eastern or Gulf Coast states. But while rare, eastern equine encephalitis is very serious. Approximately 30% of people with eastern equine encephalitis die, and many survivors have ongoing neurologic problems. Symptoms of eastern equine encephalitis can include fever, headache, vomiting, diarrhea, seizures, changes in behavior, and drowsiness. There are no vaccines to prevent or medicines to treat triple E in people. You can reduce your risk of infection with triple E by preventing mosquito bites. Thanks for listening.